more and more, I'm asked to produce air sounds within new pieces, and this particular episode of Trumpet Extensions is all about air. Air sounds can be as simple as just blowing air through the horn, but there's also a whole sort of world of sonic possibilities that we have access to here. First things first, pitched air. So it's possible to get a slight amount of pitch in the sound. Though an interesting phenomenon is that the sounding pitch is actually a half step higher than the pitch that is notated. So composers, if the actual pitch is important to you, this needs to be addressed in some way. I think the easiest way is probably just to write what the fingered pitch would be. So for instance, if you want a C sounding pitch, you would actually write a B natural. So the trumpet player is going to press down finger two, but you will get the pitch that you want. In addition to pitched air, we're also able to change the consonants and the vowels that will also change the color of the air. So for instance, vowels. And consonants. Trumpeters. Now is usually the time where I would give you some tips on how to do these, but air sounds, there's not really a lot to talk about. Just practice, right? So just practice and sort of explore what's possible within these air sounds, what's possible within the vowels, what's possible within the consonants. Composers, how to notate this. There's no 100% right or wrong way to notate it. It hasn't been totally codified yet, but I would say the most common way that I see is using X note heads. But I'll show you two examples here. Regardless of what you decide to use, it's really important to use a key so that you're communicating to your performers exactly what it is that you want. So the first example that I really, really like is Ryko Futing's Eternal Return Pasakalia. For the use of consonants, I think Jeffrey Gavitt in his piece, Proof of Concept for Floating Child, were really, really clear, very, very um, obvious about exactly what it was that they wanted me to do. Both of these works are written for the Byrne Kozar duo, so enjoy playing around with these. Wait, <laughs> 